It's March 24th all day, and these historical events occurred on March 24th, this date in history. In 1603, Scottish King James VI, son of Mary, Queen of Scots, becomes King James I of England in succession to Elizabeth I, thus joining the English and Scottish crowns. Who cares? Speaking of annoying and onerous and overbearing British, in 1765, Britain enacts the Quartering Act, requiring colonists to provide temporary housing to British soldiers. Hey, did you know that in our Bill of Rights, quartering of soldiers is forbidden, according to the Third Amendment? And I think the Second Amendment, right to bear arms, and the Third Amendment, hey, stay out of my house, government, are inextricably linked. Just saying. In 1832, Mormon leader Joseph Smith is beaten, tarred, and feathered in Hiram, Ohio. In 1882, German scientist Robert Koch discovers and describes the bacteria which causes tuberculosis and establishes germ theory. Speaking of more British imposition, it was said back in the day that the sun never set on the British Empire. Stop that! Look on, clear off! Which is true, because in a 1906 census of the British Empire, it shows that Great Britain ruled one-fifth of the world at that time. Not quite sure why they have the United States highlighted here. I'm pretty sure we kicked your butts right out of here. Twice. In 1937, the National Gallery of Art is established by Congress. I know it may seem some that's boring to go to an art museum, but you really should go. In fact, go look at the Dutch masters. Amazing work, as well as some of the realism. In 1942, the U.S. government begins moving native-born citizens with Japanese ancestry into detention centers under Executive Order 9066 with the intention of preventing homegrown espionage. The Democrat here did it. Speaking of Roosevelt, who didn't know when to leave, in 1947, the U.S. Congress proposes a two-year limitation on the presidency. I'm looking, and I don't see anything about Congress. Oh, so it's on the presidency that there's a term limit. They wouldn't want to do it to themselves and have to go do something useful for a living. And in 2015, NASA's Opportunity rover becomes the first to complete a Martian marathon. I think it's more important that you just finish. Sorry for being so snarky today. Hey, look, when it comes to a battle of wits, you'll still have the victory when you subscribe to my channel for this date in history. Like, share, subscribe. Hey, and would you check out the comments for even more March 24th history?